friends, I was not feeling well around the new year, so this video is coming out a little bit later than everyone else's, but that's fine. I don't think there's ever really a bad time to analyze what you want out of your life and think about what habits you want to build to get the life you want, to reassess and plan out your goals. I'm working on making sure that all of my goals are actionable and things that I can actually control, because yeah, it'd be great to get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, but really, that's up to other people, not me. So this year I'll be focusing on what I can do to make sure I have the life that I want. Let's start with reading goals. This year I want to read 100 books. This is about the same number of books that I read in 2021 and way less than I read in 2020 and 2019. I think 100 books is a sustainable number for me though and I'm excited to find books that I love this upcoming year. I also want to review every book that I've read in 2022 on this YouTube channel. I think videos of dedicated book reviews are the best way to share what you think about what you read, promote books that you love to readers with similar tastes, and give people the information that they want when making decisions. I also have some more like social media goals because I would like to grow my channel and making more book reviews is one way to do that, but it's certainly not the only way to do that. I want to post on YouTube at least once a week and put up no more than three videos a week. I know some periods of my life will be busier than others and I won't always be able to film as much as I want. But I can maintain at least one video a week, and even though I'd like to make more, I know that that's not realistic while I have a full-time job and family responsibilities. I would also like to tweet every day, which I know everyone is making goals to use Twitter less, but I love Twitter. Right now I'm just tweeting about one book that I finished every morning, sharing Wordle scores, sharing to-do lists, chiming in on political issues where I have the expertise, but I like Twitter, since that's where I talk to most of my friends and I want to keep posting there regularly maybe build my audience there too. I also want to post on Instagram at least once a week while exploring new parts of my city, and if I'm lucky, new parts of the country. So make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to get more like regular updates on my life and the things I'm doing and not just my thoughts on books. Next, I do have a few financial goals that I feel comfortable sharing online. Uh, I think most people know that I live in a single income household. My husband is a comic book writer and makes some of the coolest and most interesting things I've ever read but it is not a consistent income, so we budget to live off of my more stable income from working at a nonprofit. I am making more than a living wage at this nonprofit, and I like my job. So knowing that I will be staying with them for another year, I am doing my best to ensure that my family ends the year with no credit card debt. We've had a few emergencies in 2021 with the medical bills and car repairs that we had to use our credit cards to pay. I don't think we have an outrageous amount of credit card debt, but I want to have none. Next, allegedly, I will have to start paying my student loans back starting in May. I don't believe that this global pandemic will be over in May, and I do believe that starting student loan repayments will force people between the ages of 20 and 50 to make riskier choices in order to pay off their debt, thus extending the time that we are in a global pandemic. But that being said, I would like to pay off my three smallest student loans this year. Uh, it will be tricky once student loan repayments start back up again and I have to start paying interest on my loans, but I think it's possible. Uh, finally, I do have one crafting goal. I would like to make everyone on my Christmas list a homemade present in 2022. As you may know, I have nine siblings. Some of them have spouses. Several of them have kids, meaning that there are another 23 get kids right now that I'm making gifts for in addition to making things for my in-laws and my friends. And this might be the biggest project I ever undertake in my entire life. I don't know how I'm going to do it. This year, I want to ensure that I give things to people that is one of a kind and meaningful. Okay, friends, thanks for watching the whole video. Let me know in the comments, what do you want to do this year? And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe, watch another video of mine, or support me on Patreon. And hey, I love you.